Welcome back. Our next guest first hit the headlines as the gangster Polly in crime drama Love Hate. From there, he was that bad boy Kieran where he kept poor Katie locked up in a box in yeah, Fair City. He did, but change may be afoot as he most recently has been cast in the panto Rapunzel as Johnny Be Good. But is he really good? Well, Johnny Ward, you're very welcome to the show. Lads, how are you? Long you. time no see. The last time I saw you was, what, three years ago? Yes, and ironically, we were, we were interviewed talking me all just things love right hate. I got chucked off the balcony. Yeah. And the last time I saw you was seven what, years ago. Seven years ago when we were doing a film with the unknown actor that is Sean Penn. That's right, yeah. Things haven't gone well for him since. <laughs> yeah, he's, only yeah, been, no. he's only been nominated for five Oscars. That's, that's, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a quiet yeah. time. Great to see you guys and thanks you for too. having me you on. You're, too. You're, you're, I was asking you when do you start rehearsals. You're in rehearsals this already. This is your second week already. And I'm see, I'd love to sit here and say, you know, oh no, I'm great and I feel brilliant. I'm actually in bits, yeah, limping knackered. around the place. We're doing like backflips and dancing and stuff. Such a so cool tell thing. people what you're doing. You're rehearsing for Rapunzel in the Gaiety. Rehearsing for Rapunzel, which opens up in the, the Gaiety Theatre on the 26th of November. And I'm playing the, the Prince part, uh, also known as Johnny Be Good, which is pretty cool. Go. It's got a phenomenal cast. It has uh, myself and Joe Conan. We've got Nick Grinnell, Kira Lyons as Rapunzel. Catherine Rutherford, uh, Stephen O'Leary and Donica O'D. So an amazing cast, amazing ensemble. And uh, I just, you know what, it's, it's tough. I don't know if you have realised, Johnny, Panto, as you well know, Simon, mm -hmm. is so intense. Oh, it's I know Alan it. Hughes loses a half a stone, a stone yeah. every single year yeah. he does it. Yeah. Because it's just so intense, isn't it? it with really the is. matinee shows, with the re rehearsals now. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it is, it's full out and... We've got a day off tomorrow, which is great because the match is on tonight, so that'll Good, suit. Yeah, and then yeah. next week we've got one day off. And then from then on, we have Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and then one other day off up until the, wow. the 7th of January. And I think there's going to be an extension as well, fingers crossed. It normally crossed. does. But we were but, talking earlier on about Bewley's and about it being an institution in Dublin. The Gaiety Panto yeah. is an absolute institution. I mean, anybody you meet talks about... Like I, I do the, the Olympia pant, and we see it in the Olympia, you have generation after generation goes yeah. to the show. But it's part of people's Christmas is going to the Gaiety. It Panto. really, it really is. And you think it's part of, I mean, it was definitely part of my Christmas. I remember it wasn't officially Christmas until you went, went with your family to the, to the Gaiety yeah. Theatre. And you think that's, you know, it's a relatively new thing. But you look up at pictures on the wall and it's like, you know, from the, the 1890s or yeah, something yeah. like that of when yeah. they're doing pants. And one thing, while well, you've made that point there, Simon, they've never done Rapunzel. And, you know, I was really, really excited three years ago to be like the first time that they did Peter Pan and we were flying around the stage. And, you know, I think it's rare that, you, you know, every time they've done it, you know, it's, it's rare not to do a panto and it's, yeah, yeah. you know, repeating itself. But it's the first time they've, uh, they've ever done Rapunzel. So that's, you know, part of the reason why I, I wanted to do it and as nice well. And nice for you to play. This is a good guy that you're playing. For a change. Is that right? Yeah. Because for we a had change. Polly in, uh, in Love, Hate, of course, yeah. um, which was definitely the bad guy. And yeah. then, of course, we had this storyline in Fair City that Unreal. captured the imagination of the country, I yeah, think. Really People did. who didn't even watch Fair City Got knew into about it this and started story signing line. petitions and all. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. So you kidnapped Katie in Fair yeah. City. Yeah. And now your character is gone. Yeah. But... Is he dead? Is we he don't gone? know, sort of thing. Yeah, there's I a question mark, isn't he'll there? come back, you know. An awful lot of people are kind of stop me and saying, you know, is Farrah pregnant? And that's something that I actually didn't think of. There you go. Because you haven't really seen Farrah that much what recently. What was the reaction like to that whole kidnapping story? On the street, Johnny, and in the, you know, if you're out and about. It's been crazy. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm not going to lie. There was uh, an awful lot of people that, you know, there's really good and positive things. But people, you know, I had a lad spit on me on Grafton Street. Uh, really? Outside Foot Locker, yeah. And... Uh, it, it, it was like his mother was trying to force him to do it. It's Ask him about the chat. And he came over and he goes, you, uh, you Polly from Fair City? And I was like, yeah. And then uh, he went, yeah. And she was like, yeah. She spat on me and ran up. And I said, are you serious? She was like, yeah, we're all playing sick of that storyline. I'm going to wrap it up. And uh, <laughs> then the other time was uh, when I went down to see my yeah, girlfriend. Dear, oh dear. Cork Opera House, she was doing the panto down there. It went down, <clears throat> it was low on diesel, pulled into a petrol station and... Uh, a woman came over to me and she went, do you mind? And I went, yeah, yeah, you know, that's fine, yeah. I didn't know what she wanted, so she went into her car and Big Henry was there uh, driving the car. 
She goes, give me my bag. And she came over the bag, started smacking me across the head with it. <laughs> and then her <laughs> husband starts shouting all this dog's really? abuse. And out of fright, because it's Christmas time, I ran back to my car, slipped on the ice. The two of them got a right out laugh. And I went out with no petrol. <laughs> and I waited until they went for about five minutes. Charlie, it's lovely again. to meet your adoring public. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. well, did you get that reaction doing Love Hate? Because he was a now he was a really nasty piece of work mm. in Love Hate. Um, no, no. <clears throat> It's, you know, it was different because it was... Uh, Is it a different audience, maybe? Yeah, Charla, yeah. <laughs> yeah to that, I would tell you now, Polly. Yeah, I love Polly. <laughs> Whereas, you know, with, with Kieran, I think it's just because it went on for so long. And I, like you say, you know, uh, so many people that didn't even watch Fair City were hearing about this Monday yeah. morning at work and then tuning in and stuff, you know? Mm. And uh, I mean, the highlight of it was when the US election was on and we were trending it on Twitter, number oh, one above it, when the, the story, when the kidnapper was revealed, you know? So, but it must it be great, great to be part of, of shows like Love, Hate and Fair City. Really lucky, really, really, really lucky. lucky yeah. To be part of the biggest storyline that they have. No, I'm really know? lucky, you know, and it's, and you know, Simon, you, you know yourself as well. It's all about being there, the right place, at the right Absolutely, time. Absolutely. And yeah. sometimes it goes against you, and it's you know, it's really heartbreaking. You can be down to the last two of roles or for, for things, and. Uh, you just don't know where you, you end up in this, yeah, well, in this gig, you know? Yeah, we often talk about that. And oh, we, we don't see, I know Amy Huberman talked about it before as well, we don't see the disappointments. Absolutely. We don't yeah. see all the castings and, with, with and pilots, the... There was one thing that we did straight after, uh, after Love, Hate, obviously I went into the Panther, did Peter Pan, and then I did a thing called The Clan of the Cave Bear, which was, uh, they put in 32 million or something into this pilot. Charlie McKenna and Aidan McArdle were in it as well. It's Fox TV. Ron Howard produced it, uh, Pierre Morel directed it, who directed Taken with Liam Neeson. Mm -hmm. We were over in South Africa and for three and a half months and we, were, uh, we all had contracts to live over in LA to the year 2020. Whole thing was complete and utter flop, never made it. And you're back to square one again, you know? So you can never be sort of too <laughs> comfortable in this, uh, I know, yeah. in this business. I know, yeah. It's a leveler, isn't it? When it something is. doesn't, it is. doesn't but, work but out like that. But I think the real slog of it is, is actually what you're going into now is, is theatre. Because yeah. that is a real slog, and in particular Panto, because you're doing, when you're doing straight theatre, you might do eight shows a week. Yeah. You do two matinees. With Panto, you're doing two shows every day. So you're doing 14 shows a week. Yeah. That's and a, and that's another a thing, with those plays as well, you don't have anyone shouting <clears throat> back up no, with you. you don't. Those school shows, you know yourself yeah, as yeah, well, like yeah. when they're shouting it's up. It's mayhem. You lose your voice, you can't move, you're just literally yeah. thinking, I can't, I'm not going to go over there and lift up that pot of tea because I'm going to save that energy for the mm. show. But yeah. it is yeah, joyful. Yeah. I mean, standing that's on the great. stage, I, it really I is. love. You I, need I to do, love it though, right? Because it's hard You going. have to love it. I yeah. love because I directed. Now, I watch the audience watching the show. That's what it's all and about. It's watching the little girl's face when they, when they come together at the end and the yeah. prince gets the princess and the joy in their face. Now, they're with their little tiaras on themselves. Oh, they love strong. it. And it's a great introduction for, yeah. to theatre. It is. For it, really, it really is. It really is. And the fact that they have a voice and that they're yeah. pretty much, you know, they're 50% the, yeah. of the show. You can't do it mm. without the kids. Can I ask you, is, uh, is Joe Connell behaving himself? Uh, he's not at all. No, good. No, good. he's not. No, do you know he felt when I was on the show? Him to do no, he he sends me a Facebook message like, "You better give me a, a plug." <laughs> so here's your plug, Joe. Hello, here's my friend. Plug. Joe, good morning, is, Joe. Joe is a panto, in, panto institution in <laughs> yes, Ireland. It really is. And you know, it's amazing that people people go to the gay the panto to, to see just him. Just to see him. He's but incredible. he's really developed that you know that character of Nana as well, and you yeah. know people really do go just to see him. He's a he's a pleasure to work Can with. Can I as ask well, you, Johnny, before we let you go, yeah. um, the whole Harvey Weinstein thing? How did you feel about that in terms of being? Uh, w was it familiar for you in casting situations? Have you ever experienced any of it? Because we were chatting last mm. week, it's it's prevalent in every industry, I think. Yeah, and but... it's come up an awful lot. And if I'm honest, you know, I've been in this industry quite a long time, um, and no, I no. haven't. I haven't okay. come across it. But unfortunately, yeah, I do know, know people uh, who, who have come across it and yeah. uh, women who have felt, uh, and females who have felt, sort of like bullied into, you know, into certain situations. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But me, me personally, no. No, I haven't, no. OK. That's well, listen, good. if people want tickets, they can go onto the Gaiety website. You, you're you batting down the hatches now. You're ready for two months serious. 26th slog. of November to the 7th of January with a probable extension, I'd imagine. Yes, yes. yes. Good luck. Have a great run. Thank you so much. Are you festival fit? Christmas. I think you are. Yes, he's ready for <laughs> it. <laughs> you think, wouldn't you? He's ready for <laughs> it. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks.